Tastiest food you'll ever eat in your belly. Listen, uh. everyone, I'm in a health kick right now. I like nutrients. I like vitamins. I like um, earthy, healthy, really home cooked meals. It makes me feel. Um, it, it gives me the energy to live life. And Blue Apron, it it, it has everything. It comes to your house. Mm-hmm. It's fresh ingredients. <laughs> Dope. It's easy to make. Uh, J. Clooney eats it. G. Clu- Clooney. J. J. Clooney. J. J. G. Clooney G. eats it. I eat it. G. Clooney. Um, a lot of people eat it. Um, the Canadian Prime Minister, what's his name? Justin, Justin Trudeau. Trudeau. He yeah. eats it. <laughs> Wait, right. How do you know that? I just know. Oh. Well, he called me and said he did. Oh, okay. But my sense. point is, is that it really is um something that I eat all the time, and I look forward to it. It's tasty meals, and to get more specific, Gilbert will take over. <laughs> Blue Apron is treating Tiger Belly listeners to $30 off your first order if you visit blueapron.com slash belly. So check out this week's menu and get your $30 off at blueapron.com slash belly. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Five, four, three, Three, two, two, one. one. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. Um, Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. Welcome to another episode of a Taka Ballet. Everybody, <laughs> I, everybody, thanks for listening again to another episode of this podcast. We've got me, we got Kalila, we've got Gilbert, we got George. And we've got Thin Lips fucking serial killer Magoo back here. Mm, Fuck lips. face Magoo. And he's like killing it right now with his fucking beady fucking killer eyes. I love it. And um, we have a special guest. But before I even get into that, um, you know, I I, I, um, I want to congratulate Jay Peel, Jordan Peel, who is also been on our podcast. He won an Oscar last night. So give him a round of applause, everybody. Um, I texted him and then he liked my text. Ooh. So I didn't really get... A response, but you know when someone likes your text, it's not you know it's not like a response, but it's it's kind of a fuck you, but not. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of like I have to respond, but I'm not gonna actually put words in. Yeah. But that's fine. He was busy last night. Oscar. He yeah. probably responded to Keegan though. He probably responded to Keegan and Ike, Baronholtz probably. But anyway, congratulations, Jordan. I love you. I'm kidding. It was a really big deal, and I got really emotional. They aired my uh, pilot, uh, my uh, trailer for my sitcom a couple times, but it's fine. Um, I look pretty good on television myself. But my point is, is this: we have um, a very special guest. Now, listen, I've asked this guy to do our podcast many times before, but he's always, "I'm in fucking Canada, or I'm shooting something in France, or some shit." Ooh. And I had done his podcast a million times, ten minute podcast with him, Brian Callen, and. Um, he just wants me to fucking say his name. But anyway, <laughs> but, but before I even say his name, though, I want to say this, though, too. Is this that? Um, I want to say this, too. Is this that um, when I first got into Mad TV, um, this guy was a senior cast member on the show. And um, really, I didn't really get a really good um, response from the senior cast members, mm-hmm. except for this guy. This guy. Um, got my number. We hung out. He was very welcoming to me. Um, and he's a good guy. Shut, I fucking told you not oh, to shit. fucking hey, say oh, shit. anything. Oh, you're until I fucking, oh, shit. What? You're fucking drum rolling and it's not going to be worth it in the end. <laughs> All right. Will Sasso, everybody. Hey, everybody. Clap your hands. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Tiger Belly Oscar wrap up. Hey, <laughs> I thought it was something else. What hey, about yeah. oh, the well, yeah, so yeah. and so was wearing a Well, you know what, dude? You know what? I'm hey, glad man. that you're here, man. Yeah. I really, I I'm really. i very happy to be here. Are Hi, you guys. really, though? Absolutely. I've always wanted to do your podcast, and I happen to be out of town. I've never been to France. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been to France? That no. was a lie? Yeah. That was a lie? Nah, I was probably in Atlanta or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shooting something, right? Yeah. So your your um your, the trailer for your new show was on TV? Yeah. I did catch a little bit of the Oscars, but last night I was in my native Canada. I was hanging out with my parents. I was at their house, and we have Canadian tire commercials and that sort of thing. Oh, right. So you and that's... That's fine. Uh, yeah. I wasn't. I didn't say oh, that. No, for I didn't you to see give it. What's the name of your dude? new show? 
It, it doesn't matter. No, but don't do that. <laughs> it, it doesn't really you matter. You do right this now. show, and yeah, people yeah, yeah. love you yeah. and Kalila, and nobody ever it's called talks to you up guys. To, it's called splitting up together, and uh, splitting up yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna. Days. I think they're gonna be okay. Those two. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I don't know what it's yeah, about, yeah, yeah, but I think yeah, they're yeah, gonna yeah. be all right. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna be all right. They'll be fine. In the, yeah, yeah, those kids are gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah. And what do you play? I play the gook. Oh. No, I play. <laughs> <laughs> That's my name, you know, Gook. Oh, no. it's the name. The yeah, 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 yeah. I have a rice hat. Well, you know, made with those Vietnam oh, rice hats. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. authentic. Yeah, that's great. No, I play. You um, get like, shot I by a soldier every yeah, single episode. Every episode <laughs> right, At the end right. of every episode, they just pull a gun to your head, <laughs> right? Vietnam style, you know that <laughs> traumatic picture that right. most of the people. Oh, we do yeah. a deer hunter scene. We do the yeah. fucking gun to the net, you know. Yeah, oh, it just wow. what do they call that? Russian roulette. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is who invented that game? Is that fun? The is, Russian? Is Russian well, it wasn't supposed to be a game. Yeah, but they... Yeah, but back then, the way they made games was that they would be... Like, games would be like gladiator games. Yeah. Those right. are games. And then a tiger eats you from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> right, and right, that's right. A game. It's not necessarily a game to the people playing. It's a game to the people watching. Oh, right. So, the like, kings and queens or, like, people that are in charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They go, Let, let's watch a game. Yeah. What game should we watch? <laughs> Basketball? No. Hasn't been invented yet. Yeah, but, 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 but. <laughs> but even the Mayan basketball, if you lost, you get your balls chopped off. Right. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or the winner gets killed. Because they can go right to heaven because or wherever. It's a, yeah, it's an honor to, to, to die and make it to the next level. Right. I think that's missing from our modern day sports. I bet you money that um, teams would win more. Yeah. If you got killed first. If, if the they winner... knew that they, they lost. If the, in the NFL, if they said that the last place team with the worst record, they're all going to die. Well, if you think about it, everybody that wins a Super Bowl is always like, hey, I just want to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Nothing would be possible without God, blah, blah, blah. And I'm heading home right now and just pull a gun out and throw <laughs> your fucking head off. Oh, my God. Just as you're accepting the, uh, the, yeah, the MVP yeah. award. Oh, my God. Just watch... Nick Foles, God-fearing man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just like, I'd blah, watch blah, blah. every time, my yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah. Congrats to me. Hit the bed. Yeah. What is the rule of Russian roulette, though? You have, like, a, a handgun... Mm. Six chambers, one bullet, one bullet are, is in the mm -hmm. chamber, yes. and you spin it, mm -hmm. and you stick it to your thing. No, that's not Russian. Is that's, that Russian? That's Russian. That's, that's Russian. Russian. That's Russian. Really Russian. Oh, okay. yeah. You're you thinking it, of a Molotov you spin cocktail. It. I'm thinking of a <laughs> fireball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the one where you walk away from each other, then you turn and... Oh, wow. That's like gunslinger Western shit. Western duel. Western duel. Yeah, yeah. That's a duel. Western duel. Yeah, Russian roulette is we spin, and then you go first, click, yeah. you're fine. Oof. Bam, I yeah. lost. It's you versus you. Yeah. yeah. What a fucked up fucking game. Yeah. Would you be able to play, if if I said, let's play one round of Russian Roulette, Gilbert, would you do it with me? What are the stakes other than There's my no stakes. life? Your life. Then life. no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> yeah, say yes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's exhilarating if you don't lose though would you like you know how in south africa <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Right. it feels great off the coast in south africa there's that one island that's just infested with great white sharks if they said hey will we'll give you a billion dollars if you swam 200 meters from this point to the boat mm. no chain no chain link suit no nothing but it's infested with great white sharks i would do it on one condition if i could take a shower right before because i tend to smell like meat <laughs> All right. If you I'm sweat in the a lot. Sunshine. Right, right, right. That's a good. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Good strategy. But you yeah. know what I would do? What? I would just. I think I would do it for a billion dollars. That's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you why. I wouldn't move much. I would just let the current. You know, I would just flow. It would take you three days. Oh. You'd be like a jellyfish. I would be like jellyfish. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they that, don't eat jelly. They don't eat jellyfish. They hate <laughs> it. So I, they look I, at you. I, I would like do tentacles. Yeah. I have the body for it too. And they know they'd get stung if they you, ate you. Right. Yeah. You for, the, you for sure do not want to look like a dying fish. You want to look like you're able to swim well. I would. Yeah. How about like just I'd go over to that Halloween store on Hollywood Boulevard, get a dolphin hat. <laughs> And yeah, just, like a mask because they're afraid of dolphins. <laughs> right. And I'd just be a big fat or white dolphin. Or they're also afraid of orcas. They're, they're, they're afraid of dolphins? Or, I didn't or know, orcas. I didn't know yeah. yeah, I'd get some really good paint, like that stuff they put on Rebecca Romaine. Yeah. With <laughs> with yeah, yeah. So it's not going to rub off. <laughs> and I'd be an orca and I'd swim. Right, no right, fucking problem. Right. Where's my money? Yeah. And they'll be like, well, you yeah, know, yeah. you dressed up like an orca. <laughs> oh, really? I dressed up like an orca. <laughs> You're racist yeah, yeah, against yeah, orcas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So an orca couldn't win but that's this money? Not, but that's not, but, but that shouldn't be a part of the challenge. You should be completely naked. Like naked because if that's the case, then I would like wear, mm. 
like armor and padding. I would put, I would wear like a mermaid bottoms, right? <laughs> like a mermaid, but orca style, like orca, right, right, orca right. print. I'm yeah, sure I can yeah, find yeah. that. Orca print. I'd, I'd have my hands in tight, so those <laughs> yeah. are just the flippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my, my, Dick and balls, I would paint them like one of those fish that stick themselves to, to whales. To the side. Uh, yeah. And the shark would maybe try to eat my sticker fish. Right. But wouldn't try to eat me because yeah. I'm an orca. I think you should just go with Mystique. Just go with Mystique. <laughs> yeah, just go in there with like Mystique and they just blew like, There's an X-Men in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They wouldn't fuck with that. I'd look like a gigantic fishing lure. Right. I don't want to be shiny. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. Yeah, yeah shiny's yeah. no good. I, I would probably either that or. Russian roulette, what would you do? I would do the shark thing. You, rather than Russian roulette. Absolutely. Yeah. Because what are the odds in the shark? You could survive. Yeah, it's totally. Intense. I mean, have you ever seen those um, videos where they do like a prosthetic seal and they drag it with a boat? And it's like 10 for 10, the shark goes for it. Really? Off okay. the coast of South Africa. Yeah. And they not only do they go for it, the sharks breach. So they jump up. Oh, to get their to oh. from under, so they don't. They never attack sideways. They always go from under. Because I did the cage in South Africa. You did me, Orny Adams, Ian Bag wouldn't even get in the water. Yeah, because he was vomiting. But oh. he's Canadian. Yeah, he's weak. Canadian. The weak. <laughs> the 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 ocean there is very mellow. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. tell you. Yeah, but when we were in the cage, you literally go, oh. Mm. I don't see nothing. Yeah. Fuck it, right? Yeah. And you're still standing there, and then all of a sudden, you don't see it, the great white. Yeah. You feel it. You can literally feel water, go, like, really? the go through you, <laughs> and then you feel something from the bottom, and when it comes up, I'm not kidding you, dude. Yeah. It is fucking scary wow they don't look like i've been around tiger sharks and other sharks no no no, not tiger sharks but what are the sharks that we did in hawaii we did galapagos the gay ones <laughs> the gay shark yeah yeah the gay what galapagos. i want to know is what was this on fuse who watched that you and orny adams and ian bag and a, <laughs> was that like some sort of wacky no no we were no comedians <laughs> in the ocean no, no, no. no we were coffee in, no we were in south africa doing a uh a, a comedy festival and we were out there for a couple of months oh yeah and then you know uh ian and those guys are a like a couple of months yeah we're there for two months <laughs> why That's so wild. we did like fucking 60 shows or something it was crazy what the fuck kind of festival is this <laughs> it was like a stand-up thing two months. and then they're just letting you swim with sharks they're like we got so many comedians they're here for no two they months. give it i think they gave us the weekends off and then then we like there's some weekends where we didn't do anything and then some weekends people would plan things so we did a safari thing and then we did that's cool a great white thing and um yeah that, it was crazy yeah, yeah that great cool. white thing was crazy yeah yeah why no, i was just curious what else? why you, just... you you questioned me like i was lying or some shit no i'm just i don't know what the fuck you do in south africa go check out black hey, neighborhoods you. fucking d antwerp hey. concert hey, hey man hey, you. what's up hey what's happening what's up, bro Kind of, I want to hey, thank you, dude. Then, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, good. Bobby Fuck Lee, you. man. <laughs> yeah. Every show. Yeah, every show, dude. Remember, like, when hey. Matt TV... Matt, that was, Bobby like... Lee. When we were on Matt TV, that was the... That was the, like... The demographic? The demographic, right? Sure. That's all you would... you would. I would go to the West Covina Mall oh. to get fucking recognized. There you go. Yeah. yeah that, that... I don't know. Uh, is that... Where is, is that near San Clemente? <laughs> no, it's over there by City of Industry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. then you would go to the food court. Yeah. And that's where it would happen. That's where hey, it would happen. Hey, bro. Mobbed. Fucking Met TV, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you the you food that come on Met TV. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you go to the Beverly Center, nothing. No. Nothing. <laughs> no, no, zero. Take another water, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, and I want to, th I want to get sentimental a little bit, but. Oh, good. Uh, what? Do it. I want to. Uh, what is that? A thumb drive? No. <laughs> no it's, it's a vape. I quit smoking. He's oh cool. Bobby's got a thumb. That is a thumb drive though. Yeah, right? yeah it sure it is. It's okay. actually how but you can, charge it too. Oh, USB. You, you can USB. put it with USB. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. But I want to thank you because you were really. I'm being real. You were really nice to me when I. First we were got buddies. Out. I understand that, but you really brought me in, and you were the only one that gave me the your, your number like i didn't talk to mike mcdonald for three years <laughs> you know i don't think i ever really even talked to stephanie stephanie where we are yeah she would say hi and stuff but i just yeah I, stephanie's not very talk yeah talk mo was nice Mo was very nice alex was very nice to when you. she was very nice because she was leaving though yeah 
And I remember when Alex, when I got on the show, and she was like her last week. Oh, yeah. She goes, this was the biggest mistake of your life doing the show. <laughs> what? Really? I go, what? She goes, yeah. You fucked up. You're what? Fucked. And I go, okay, bye. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, that's what, literally she pulled me aside and said that. Really? Deborah was nice. Everyone, come but on. That, Everyone I know, but they, 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 nice. they didn't. Oh, Aries wasn't that nice. Hey, Aries. Oh, Mike was Mike was very combative with me. Combative? Yeah, you probably you probably had a lot of the same bits and sketches and stuff. I don't know. You but... probably thought you were biting his shit. Um, <laughs> uh, but you were really on, nice. People, Stephanie is so super sweet. sweet. I'm not saying they're not. Mo is sweet. sweet. Yeah, Mo's the sweetest There's person sweetest in the world. Are, no, Mo is very nice. Yeah, Mo's. But extremely. you were the one that would call me like, "How are you?" and stuff like that. I would never call you and be like, "How are you." <laughs> Hey, I know, Bobby, but in my, I know, but in my head, <laughs> yeah. Like you invited me to a party, a couple parties. Yeah, and stuff. we yeah, were yeah, pals. Yeah. I think we were fast friends. And then I betrayed you. How did you betray Wait, me? What? Remember when you left and then you called me a bunch of times? I never called you back. Yeah, for but like that's years. just because you're you. I, I called you for like two or three years and never heard back. <laughs> three from you. years? Something, yeah. Uh, more. Uh, two years. Yeah, Let's say it was yeah. probably two years. And then, uh, but every time I called you after a while, I realized you were, just would not get back to me. So then I started leaving uh, messages as Frank Caliendo's impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Come yeah. acting, to acting. <laughs> yeah. Or one time you answered and I was like, yeah. I was but that's a, a, that wasn't a Frank Caliendo impersonation. It wasn't a personal like, thing. It was just that's just the way I am, and I just feel. And I try to change that about myself. Like when we know, don't worry about no, me. but I, uh, everyone knows you're weird. Man. <laughs> no, but I thought I think that it's, we're better now, you and I. Yeah, we're good friends now. Yeah, we're good friends now. Yeah, but we're both. You know, that was a long time ago. We're both in our fifties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mad yeah. TV was like in the what was it the eighties? Eighty seven. Yeah. When did you join? Eighty nine. I joined, 89, no, not, not 89, no, not 89, 90, 91, <laughs> 91. 80, no, 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 I joined 2000. Oh, okay. Yeah. I started, the, I was on the show, but, uh, eight, 1983, they had just canceled Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Fox was brand new, brand spanking new. But I, Married I, with Children and the Tracy Ullman show. <laughs> was that your not first? Not even The Simpsons yet. Was that your it's first American on, TV show that you booked? No, no, I was on uh, I was on a show before, I was on a couple of things before that that were American shows while oh. I was still living in Vancouver. Because in Canada you booked a co like one thing, a couple of things, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was on a show in Canada for a few years. Yeah. And you do American movies while you're, you know, working and living in Canada. Yeah. Which was fun. But when you got mad, was, it was exciting, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, because that was, when you got on it, was when it was, the show was hot. Well, it, the first two seasons, Brian Callen was there, and then after that, <laughs> yeah. I joined. And then you know, things. Callen was on Mad. I didn't know that. Yeah, first two years. Yeah, no. yeah, he was first one of the original years. cast members. Yeah, oh, Brian Callen was. That's right. And then you got on. I think the the seasons that went kind of well were like four, five, six, seven, then yeah, eight, seven is when I got after? on. Yeah, then and, you guys had you guys had. Uh, I don't think you guys got your uh, due. From the, uh, the 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 populace at large. The, yeah, we didn't. The, yeah, co the comedy um, the comedy audience out there that uh, also didn't know that we existed continued to not know that you guys existed. Yeah, I continued to watch the show and thought you did a lot of very interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, but um, it was when you were on it, it didn't feel like I honestly did not feel like you were on a show. What do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't. It doesn't feel no. When you go and show up and you and you you do rehearsals and you do all that, it didn't feel like you thought. I thought this is kind of like, at times ghetto. Yeah, yeah. Right? But like, I think it was a little more ghetto when we were doing it. When you guys were there, because I do remember. I remember coming back to do like you know to <clears throat> come back and do a couple sketches now and then. And one of the times I came back, it was like a year or two later after yeah. I left, and I remember the. <laughs> The lights weren't on, like yeah. on the stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the guy who owned and ran the show, yeah. you know, he's kind of cheap. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, yeah, there were no lights on. I remember tripping on a big, like, spool of wire cables. Yeah, yeah. Going like, I could have, anybody could break their leg here. What, what the <laughs> fuck? And then just over in the corner, the sketch we were doing, that was lit up. Because you need the lights there to yeah. see. <laughs> but if you'd perfected some sort of infrared, like, night vision yeah, yeah. thing, we would have, or, you know. I, but, yeah, I remember that. I remember being real bummed. I remember going and doing the show, and then I was on a sitcom at the time, and then going back to the sitcom, like, later that afternoon, like, I was at Mad doing rehearsals or shooting a thing, and then going over and doing the thing, and then the showrunners were there at Craft Service, and it's network television show Craft Service, right? Yeah. A very nice spread of food. And I remember... 
like talking to them like they were the like it was like like mad tv where my one where my dad and then this show was like my mom and they got a divorce and my mom had money and they're <laughs> yeah. like really make yeah. sure that everyone's fed yeah. and a lot of love and stuff and i remember being like Are you guys really blah 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 and they looked at me from like i was from outer space because i was like <laughs> giving them props for doing things that are just normal, normal like yeah having the lights on <laughs> And, yeah. you know, they're you being just that... like some eggs and bacon in the morning and shit. And it's like, you guys really? And they were, they thought I was, of course, thought I was fucking with them. Right, right. I did nothing but fuck with them all the time. And all of a sudden I was serious. You do it. feel the difference. Oh. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think the show progressively got cheaper and cheaper. But you until know, the you, last know who, you know who had it bad? The new Matt TV. Oh, those. Dude, when I, when we was, did the new Matt TV, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. oh my God, we were in heaven. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is like you, like you go to the craft service. There's a fucking Ritz cracker, yeah, right, and yeah. half-eaten like baby ca carrot, yeah, <laughs> half -eaten. and that's it, yeah, yeah. There, there were literally, uh, oh man, the poor, what, oh, whatever, poor the fucking, oh. yeah. I don't know. I don't know where that where that went wrong. Well, I know why that went wrong. It was on Tuesdays at nine o'clock on the CW. C <laughs> CW. So there's not. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. aside from the fact that you can't do what Mad TV used to do now, right. comedically in the, in this climate period, yeah, the social climate, not the the how many I don't know. There's lots of climates. I don't really use that. <laughs> I don't try to use that word as a smart guy often. So I really showed how stupid I was there to say climate and then go. Uh, which climate but um no you can't do that show now first of all because yeah. if you ever watch old mad tv clips you're like what mm. we really got away with crazy shit they're not only you know uh, sidelined by that or uh, side, like uh you know they're taken down by that they're also on the cw at nine o'clock there's no way there was no way talented good people very talented people a lot of the old writers came back yeah and helped great out. guys and there girls. was no way to do it there's no way to do it yeah there was girls too bobby i said great guys this and girls fucking guy i said great guys and girls all right yeah 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 time to get w wake <laughs> woke woke, woke. woke ah, man fuck. see i don't even know how to yeah you gotta be woke in this climate <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah if you're gonna do comedy you have to wake up you have to wake it but you were young though you were like 20 how old were you when you got that show 22 do you oh, f now wow. imagine fucking being 22 yeah that's a fucking incredible yeah it was really stupid of them <laughs> what do you mean i don't know i mean literally i would just go like Dude, you're so fucking funny what are you oh, fucking thanks. talking about uh, well, you know what i used to do stuff like this like i was i was convinced the show would be off the air yeah like after the f first season i was on it season three so i was like well i just got to get as much tape as i can and I got to get, you know, and, mm. you know, the show wasn't as competitive as, say, you know, like Saturday Night Live from what I've heard. And yeah, read. yeah. But there was still like, get your shit on, right? Yeah. And I remember I would I would hang out Wednesdays. All the writers would pitch. So Tuesday nights I would be in the office until all the writers had something with me. And the, the <laughs> one of the guys who really took me took me in was uh, Mike Short, uh -huh. Martin Short's uh, older brother who wrote on uh, oh. SCTV. And he was a writer on the show, and he used to call me little buddy because he was like six foot five, and because oh I was God. really, really fat. So it's funny. <laughs> and he said, um, and he goes, and like Tuesday nights after he'd be finished his assignments of writing, he'd go, all right, little buddy, come in here. Uh, <laughs> he go, all right, little buddy, uh, what are my pitches? And everyone had to have three pitches. Wow. Every writer. He's like, I don't want to pitch as you. I'm a senior writer. You know, <laughs> SCTV. I want Emmys. These guys want me to pitch yeah. on Wednesday. This is a very good impersonation. Yeah, very good. Dead on. And uh, he goes, what are my pitches? And I'm like, okay. So in this one, I'm a lady. And I'm working at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I was just giving these shit, you know, thing. And then I'm a Martian. And I got a big purple dick or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next day, he would go, okay, here's another Will one. He's a lady. And, and, then, they would, yeah, yeah. and then after a couple of weeks, they're like, are you... Mike, are you just letting Will write? Because they're terrible pitches. Not, none of them ever got written up. Yeah. And uh, you letting Will write your pitches? He goes, I don't want to pitch on Wednesday mornings. I want an Emmy with fucking SCTV. I'm not doing this. Because um, he wasn't there when I was there. No, Mike left, uh, yeah, a couple of years. And I think he left in season four or something like By that. By the way, just FYI, Martin Short, I've never met that short, short but Martin Short. Yeah. Probably one of the nicest people. Very nice. Oh my god. Good, good Canadian stock. Yeah, just really, just the personable shorts. and like. Yeah. His stories Super are sweet. fucking amazing. Just the nicest guy. Yeah. Ever. That was great. What's great about that show too is is that you got to meet like 
all of Dick Blasucci's people that he grew up with, that's right? right? So you would you would see Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy would come by. Yeah, and all those kind of th Catherine those types. O'Hara did the show. Yeah, those types, and you're like, holy fuck! Yeah, I am a part of some sort of like. You Paul, know. Paul Flaherty directed Flaherty, Flaherty yeah. And his brother, of course, And then Joe Goodwin Flaherty. would hang out, his daughter. Goodwin yeah, Flaherty, yeah. yeah. She would do sketches sometimes. Yeah, yeah, man. It was, like, really cool in that way, yeah. you know. And and uh, Kids in the Hall writers. Yeah. Gary Campbell. Brian All those Hart. guys, yeah. yeah. But, you know. They really did but it. But then man. when you left, it just kind of, you know, I had a good, you know, we had Jordan, too. Yeah, you guys, what I, are you talking about? It was about? a good Keegan, really good stock, you know. Yeah. What are you doing, Gil uh, Gilbert? Hmm? Just Levels. You're e emailing? No, no. Why would I be emailing? How's it feel to see him up there, Jordan? <sighs> there's a, there's a sense of pride. There's a sense of like, it's almost mind-boggling. Yeah. Because you kind of go, wow. Yeah. Right. Mm. And then it, there's it, and and I I was telling Will this in the hallway. There always there's and this is a character defect of mine. There's always a sense of what the fuck have I been doing? Jeez, dude. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it always goes back to my fucking stupid narcissistic, yeah. you know, ego fucking driven, yeah. you know, personality mm -hmm. of like what the fuck? You've been playing fucking Scar Stardew Valley, sixteen hours a day. You got fish. But what? You got good fish. I do have to finish. I have to finish. I have to finish it. But um, he pissed off his wife in the video game, and now she's not talking to him. No, well, what happened was, <laughs> and he, I had to hear it for a full hour today. No, no, what happened? No, it, what ha there's no consequences. That's what happened you gave was, Haley a pink cake, and Haley. I'm not trying your to off my relationship so she, maybe she has a what menu. What game is this? <laughs> it's a farming simulation game called Stardew Valley, and I've been playing it for 16 hours a day. Oh, okay, yeah, you, you, you won an Academy Award someday. Right? <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. Just like whatever, right? Yeah, right. I, I was. <laughs> I said this to you in the hallway. I thought it was very interesting how Jordan said I stopped and started writing this screenplay 20 times. I walked away from it 20 times going, no one's going to yeah. think, blah, blah, blah. And you have that same cross to bear. you got to get that wife in the farm game to start talking to you again. And it doesn't matter if it takes 20 times. <laughs> we all have goals, right? Yeah, Jordan, yeah. Jordan, you know. You know, just rub it in my face, dude. <laughs> you know, I have addictions. Oh, yeah, all right. I have fucking addictions. You know what? I, I went on Twitter. Yeah. And I saw a lovely picture, or it was on Instagram of Keegan giving Jordan a really big hug. He was so happy for him. And the meme was, what the kids were saying was, give me one friend of my life, like Keegan Michael Key, you know, like Jordan has in Keegan Michael mm, Key. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if and if the Key in Key and Peel is happy for Peel. I'm fucking happy. I'm fucking happy. Are ecstatic. you really? <laughs> are you really? Yeah. Whoa. Because outside. Let me say something. What the fuck Whoa. did you say outside? What are you doing right now? I'm not no. doing anything, no. dude. No. Whoa, my friend. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, you know what? Can ahead. I just say something right Ooh, now? Two guys from Mad TV <laughs> can't do shit. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> what would you say out in the hallway? You I, said, what have I done with my life? And no, I said, Bobby, you're yeah, still alive. That is what you said. There's plenty of time. You know, and you know what? What? You know, that was what I just expressed. Yeah. Was just a little thing in my head. I shouldn't have said it out loud. No, you should. You should say everything out loud. I was just trying you to be honest. Say, you know what I mean? I'm 99.9% on... completely fucking yeah. proud of the fucking it's very, guy. Okay. Right? All right. Now that you right? put and it I, that way. And I gave you a little bit of like, uh, there was a little bit in my head. Yeah. And, and what I threw did it I out do? there, and, what and did you I do? fucking raped that idea. I <laughs> you me too my fucking yeah. idea, dude. I me too your <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And that's not right either, Well, man. whatever. I whatever. don't give a you... fuck. You know why? Kobe yeah. Bryant won an award. Yeah. And he <laughs> paid off some chick, uh, you know, when he took her into a room, and there you go. You know, but how about in Canada? <laughs> how about in Canada that they make more stringent rules so serial killers don't get out of fucking prison? You can't even. What do you think of that? Yeah, you oh, even. Why did you, if you see Dear Zachary, you fucking Canadian fool? I'm. I'm. I agree with you there even think of uh, committing a, a, a violent crime in Canada, you're going to jail. Because there's Because we all have the chip. There was a Chinese mm -hmm. guy who there's ate... There's a Chinese guy who ate the teenager and he... On a bus not in only, Canada. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Not only was he allowed <laughs> yeah. out, but he was allowed to change his name and his whole identity. Yeah. That's fucked up. But that's Canada for you. Yeah. So don't come in here and fucking <laughs> me too my fucking little thoughts, all right? Yeah. <laughs> in Canada, they let people... They let Chinese people... <laughs> <laughs> Great people. <laughs> they let them eat whoever they want. Yeah. That was uh, Oprah. The Oprah. Was Oprah. Dead, I was going. Hey, you know, I'm not on a sketch show anymore, but check this out. Yeah. <clears throat>
Let me. China. <laughs> How do you feel about that guy? Jordan? Trump. Oh. Uh, uh, how do I feel about Trump? I think he's a, he's a big fucking idiot, right? I don't think, uh, being Canadian, no, I, I want to know your perspective. I think, uh, We're uh, not a political show. We don't really... I, 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 look, I don't get, Yeah, I don't have political... I don't give a fuck about politicians. I don't follow... A, uh, I am an American citizen. I did vote. Congratulations. In, in, yeah, in the last election. And, uh, and I will say that, uh, you know, for me... I, I'm not a fan of a, of a party. I'm not. I'm certainly not a fan of a politician. I'm a fan of policy, Bobby Lee. I'm a fan of policy, and I want everyone to know who's listening <laughs> that can't see me. Right. And I'm doing that politician thumb thing, right? <laughs> yeah. with just a little bit of my nub thumb <laughs> sticking up, and I'm shaking it yeah. at Bobby. Clinton did so, that a lot, Bill. Yeah, yeah Bill Clinton did yeah, that did a, a lot. lot he kind of almost. Yeah. He kind of almost that's his thing. patented it. Yeah, that's his thing. Because he did it so much. Right. But people still Blow do. Blowjobs and that, that. Blowjobs and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Like nutting on dresses and then yeah. this yeah. killed it. The problem with Trump <laughs> is <laughs> like, the problem with Trump is, uh, aside from everything that anyone can say about Trump and how he sucks shit, the interesting thing to me is if he ever does something good, uh, even by accident, yeah, we will not talk about that. We uh, like, uh, what did he do with the? See, I don't even know. Well, the other day with the Dreamers, with DACA, he like uh, some way he gave some sort of advantage, and I'm not. A, I should not even speak be speaking on it. Everybody yeah. just Google it. So you can get the facts wrong on the fucking internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, something like Obama did something nice for seven hundred fifty thousand, and he did it for like fourteen hundred, uh, fourteen uh, one point four million. Yeah, fourteen hundred. <laughs> And um, and uh, I only do math in hundreds. Right. That's Canadian math. Ah. That's metric. All you got to do is turn it turn into hundreds. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know but that. then everyone will be like, yeah, boo, fuck Trump anyway. I think he's food poisoning. We just got to get through three more the, years of the it. The other day, I thought that shit. she was going to go the right way in terms of the NRA and stuff like well, that. Well, what he, he does is meeting. he sits in front of people and he says what will please them. Ah. And then he just turns around later and tweets something else. And then he goes back to the White House and there's his advice. That's, that's the real problem. And he says something to them. He's he's completely, he's just a yes yeah, man. He's a, nothing. he's a yes man. He's a he's a jellyfish floating through shark infested oh, waters for a billion he dollars. Brought it back. Yeah, I brought it back. <laughs> That's nice. That's a callback. That's what the what they, last I want before I forget. What the fuck happened with ten minute podcast? Oh, we're giving it away. You're giving your podcast. We're giving the podcast away. away. We are giving the iTunes channel, the website. The you know the Twitter for what it's worth. Yeah, but, like, but the point is, to is that who? to a guy named Mark Evans. Who is Mark Evans? <laughs> Shout out to Mark He's Evans. He's a guy. Shout out to Mark Evans. Mark Evans NY on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> He's an editor who lives on the East Coast. Yeah, Wait, was he a point? fan of the show? Yeah, he was a big fan of the show. Uh -huh. And we sort of ran a contest and we just started like airing people's stuff. Basically what happened is, you know, like the first what was it? Three years of the show was uh, Brian Callen, Chris D'Elia, and myself. Right. And at which point it just became too much of a. It, everyone was so busy, and you know Brian lives way out, and Chris doesn't give well, a shit about you. anything. Well, he betrayed you. What's they that? They both betrayed you. No, they did not betray it me. It was a betrayal. <laughs> no, Let me tell you something. What happened? They got less and less interested. <laughs> no, in no, 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 no. This is what happened. All what right. Happened? Bobby sat in, did a bunch of them. I did a bunch, yeah. yeah. And I'm and I'm friends with both guys, but I'm gonna just say this, right? I'm friends with both guys. It was guys too. Shakespearean and betrayal. And I'll no, tell wasn't. You why. no, it wasn't. I made I'm gonna the tell you I'm gonna I made the final call and said, guys, I, I love know ya. because you're the only one that's real. Oh really? All right. Let me, just your the, foundation. I'm starting to see a theme here. It's not stop. just about Mad yeah, TV. Just stop a second. It's stop not Bobby. Uh, uh, fucking. Uh, it was, uh, right. Jor Jordan didn't text no, you back. You, <laughs> he hearted your thing. You don't have to Everyone's agree with me. Everyone's been a fucking dick to you. Yeah, you don't have to agree Trump, with Trump. You're like, what do you think, uh, Trump? Yeah, 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 yeah. You tell me. No, it's cool if you like him. I don't. You don't experience. have to agree with me. Okay, this is what you this just, is. I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna tell a story. Okay. Okay. Tell a story. I'll tell you a little story, right? And and you see if I'm, you know, vaguely correct. All okay? right. Yeah. Here's the story. A long time ago, yeah. many years ago, right? There was a guy named Will Sasso. That's you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's you. And he's not fat. He's thick. That's you. Thank you. Ooh, You're welcome. Okay. It's a true story so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep going. Big dick. Oh, Big yeah. Dick Will. That's what everyone called. Yeah, oh, that's what everybody yeah. called me, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whale sticker fish. Dick. Right. Well. And um, he knew a guy by the name of Italian guy, right? Ah. Chris D'Elia, <clears throat> right? Not Coming Italian. Up. He's not Italian? No, he's half Italian. He's half Italian. A half Italian he's guy. He's got the Italian name. Right. And a kind of good looking, intrinsically funny guy by the name of Brian Callen, <clears throat> who used to work for MAD, and that's how you kind of know him too, right? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the beginnings yeah, of it, known, right? Yeah, known Brian a And long time. at that time, there are 
careers were okay. They're you know, they're coming up. You know, re Brian's rebuilding. He had his own podcast, and he decides to do, you, he, coming go to up. Will, just <laughs> we're fucking. What are you talking about? I've been in the, no, not you. I mean, coming. Delia was coming up. Oh yeah, Delia. this is before Whitney, right? When did uh, that yeah. happen? Before uh, Whitney, yeah. So he was coming but no, up. No, Whitney happened right away. Uh, while we were doing the podcast, exactly. Two thousand twelve. I understand. But I'm just gonna tell. Yeah. I'm paving a story. Yeah. All right. But to say no, that, no, no, I, I, well, I, I, he's no. not here to defend himself. <laughs> it doesn't matter because the, he'll eternal, listen to this later. Eternal star. And he'll come up to Chris me. Both those guys will come up to me, and yeah, I'll yeah. go. No, they're not gonna listen to this. That's that's. <laughs> oh, they do fucking listen. No, they don't fucking <laughs> listen to it. They don't fucking listen, listen to it. They don't fucking listen to it. And that's another lie in your fucking story. Story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. Oh God! Tell the story. Story oh, time. I need a second. I need a second. Hold story on. time. I need a second. All right. Oh God! I'll just point out the inaccuracies while you're having a breather. All right. All right. All right. All right. Chris ahead. was doing well and shit. You They're know, all doing, doing a bunch great. of stand up and doing. They're acting. doing great, right? But Brian time, had been around forever. He's the best. Best. Yeah. All right. Okay. They both. They're their family. Look, I if you're trying to say that I'm, no, I, 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 I'm not done with my story, friend. <laughs> all right, still family. story time with Bob. Still, okay. All right, you know he's serious when he calls himself Bob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when he's actually pissed. Story time, Bob. Yeah. Let me get my fucking bearings. They do a podcast. They decide they come up with a fucking theme. Ten minute podcast, right? Yep. How could it go wrong? Will Sasso, Brian Callen, Delia doing one podcast, and it was a success. People love it. Three of probably one of the funniest people on planet Earth together doing a. I mean, imagine mm -hmm. this is pre Fighter and the Kid. This is pre Dalia, you know, becoming who he is, right? And it's fucking working. It's like the traveling Wilburys. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's the traveling Wilburys, right? <laughs> but this is what happened. Yeah. Then they start giving gifts, getting gifts, getting gifts. Yeah. Gifts. gifts, gifts, gifts. Not G I F. No gifts. gifts. T with a T S T S. Gifts. <laughs> okay, how about this? Why don't, why don't we do this? Don't ever fuck. Don't correct me. I was don't just fucking correct I me. I feel like I'm painting it. <laughs> so you think you're fucking painting what? I'm helping it. You're not a painter. All right. <laughs> All right. So Roy Orbison yeah, died. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Years ago, he was oh, in the Wilburys. Yeah. Did he die when they were touring as the Traveling Wolverines? Well, I think they were just fucking around when they could. Yeah. Just like 10 Minute Podcast. We're fucking around when we could. Mm -hmm. And when things got and a little bit busy. And what happened was they started getting, they started getting shit. No. I'm, I'm, can I just finish, finish my story? Finish your story. Finish your <laughs> can story. Can I just finish? And then all of a sudden, what happens? They abandon Will Sasso. They abandoned you, my friend. I'm going to let you finish your story. Uh, I'm going to let me finish, all right? So you're looking at me and waiting I, for me I, to I, say no, something. No, 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 no. I, I it, like the, you know what I like? I like the uncomfortable spaces. Yeah, you know, how about this, friend? Go okay, ahead. I'm being real, and mm -hmm. I'm trying to be legit right now, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not downplaying Chris D'Elia. I think he is, he, everything that these two get, they deserve. They're Absolutely. so fucking funny. Two of the funniest fucking guys. R funniest guys. Nice as fuck. They're, yep. I, I really consider them true friends yes and you too yes i love them yeah me like too. if they died it would be so devastating to me it all would right. be life altering the there but all right <laughs> all right but okay. they fucking betrayed you no <laughs> yeah i'm not done i'm not done they got to the boat 200 meters out yeah yeah yeah, they yeah collected yeah. their billion dollars <laughs> yeah yeah okay well, they didn't betray and me. then all of a sudden and i'm gonna ask you this my friend yeah this guy t is gonna take what do you think 10 minute podcast people were listening because of you Brian and fucking Dalia? Here's why we like Mark Evans. <laughs> Shout out to Mark. Uh, because Mark what he does is and I should say over the past <laughs> uh two and a half like 3 years uh well first my buddy Tommy Blotcha started doing a bunch of stuff with me. Tommy's a writer producer. Uh -huh. You'd be familiar with a lot of the stuff that he's done. Um Big he, fan. Yeah. And then um, he wrote on like the early, uh, he wrote on like the first years of like Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Right. And then Great the job. Ali G show. He created that show, Metalocalypse. You know that show? Oh, I have it on Blu-ray. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a bunch of other stuff. And, you know, he does all that stuff, funny things. And then uh, my good buddy Chad Culchin. Have you oh, met Chad? Oh, also I have a writer all producer, his albums written. A I bunch have of, Yellowstone and National Park. Yeah, Yellowstone I have and National Sky Park. Sky Fever. Sky Fever. Yeah, I have. Um, yeah, you got that. Duncan Pride. Yeah. Oh, that's a great that album. Was a it was a double album. album. Duncan Pride. The, yeah, Duncan Pride was a yeah, good remember album. The, remember the remember the track. Remember the donuts. Title track? Donuts. Duncan we are Pride. We are oh, donuts. Yeah, 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 we are donuts. Yeah, we are donuts. Yeah, yeah, Duncan yeah, yeah, yeah. Pride. I love all that. Take right? it. 
Dunk it. Chew it. Mind up. mineral. Don't forget mind mineral. Mind mineral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need. Yeah. We're down yeah. in the mine. And yeah. you got to see. Tallahassee nut? Yeah. Tallahassee, Tallahassee nut. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a Tallahassee yeah. nut in yeah, the yeah. truck. Yeah. 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 Ocean good. holes. Ocean holes. That was a great. We gotta make ocean holes was great. So anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it sort of turned into a, a very different uh, podcast, yeah, very yeah, weird. Yeah. And then what we did was we sort of started this thing called the diamonding. We realized that we wanted to, uh, like a like you know like like the like prehistoric vegetation spinning, turning into coal. Pressing down and creating a, a diamond, you uh -huh. know. We want. I know to how a fucking diamonds made you fucking cops. We, we want to take our audience and squish it down until there's one diamond left. We, yeah. We essentially, over the past year, we've lost all our sponsors. Our audience has completely dropped off to where we only have. We've done it on purpose. The show got more and more inside. The jokes are impossible to get unless you've listened to everything. <laughs> yeah. A lot of references to wrestling. Uh -huh. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of useless shit. And we've had a wonderful time pairing off our wonderful audience to where now all we have left is diamond listeners. Okay. And from how there, many, how many listeners are there? How many listeners right yeah. now? Yeah. Remember the Canadian math. Okay. 140 people. <laughs> it might be a little more than that. I'm not sure. I'm not good at math. I'm from Canada. Right, right, right. Which means right. I'm stupid. Okay. So, yeah, thousands and thousands less than used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so now, basically, what we did was we listened to all these submissions from people like blah, blah, blah. It's you Circuit get City. That's what, that's what it oh, is. Oh, it's a fucking closed. It's that closed Circuit City it's by the Del so Taco on Sunset. Yeah. That's what it you is. Used to have, you used to be Best Buy and now yeah, you're Circuit City. Yeah, we used City. to be a Best Buy back when people were fucking buying DVDs and CDs. Mm. And now we're the Circuit City that's boarded up and is tagged, gang tags and, and shit. Callan teamed up with that other guy. With uh, Brendan. And he betrayed you. No, he did not betray <laughs> me. So what we're doing so is sad. we're giving it to Mark. Millions of dollars. He's an editor. They're making. He you cuts fuck. together old shit. You don't even see it. What do you mean? It's millions a, of dollars. Fuck. What do you mean millions of dollars? They have a successful uh, cottage industry they've put together. Brendan is a workhorse. He's a very competitive guy. Uh, he's an athlete, so as yeah, I, as, Bri as Brian has described, I, this guy got his hands on something, and it's gone crazy. They make fucking t-shirts. I've made one t-shirt in the past three years. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about t-shirts. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of busy, you know, acting in France, sort of my day job. <laughs> That's true. That is true. You no, know, you, you, have actor, been working, you have been working well, a yeah, lot. Well, yeah, but then it's like, you know, there's a lot of things where it's like, oh, I'm trying to get my thing popped off. I want to do this. I want to make that. We're, you're writing this. You're doing that, right? Right. And then you don't, and then that doesn't end nothing. I and, but then, but then a show says, you want to do a TV show? Yeah, yeah. And you go, all right, I'll yeah, do yeah. some TV show. Sure. Uh, sure. Excuse me. And I have a message to Tiger Belly fans right now. This show... Tiger don't, Belly. Don't I'm not leave done. I, look, Bobby and Kalila. No, this <laughs> show right here will never be pawned off. Not diamond. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have no, no diamond, diamonds. No, 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 no diamonds, right? <laughs> we are every week going to be religious about love giving it. you content. I love it. All right? Yeah. And we're, there's no betrayal here. I love it. George is not going to stab me in the back like some people that I know, right? <laughs> this Who? guy, what's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> what? Jason, then Jason, Jason is literally behind you, <laughs> sitting in the closet. Jason is like not he could betray reach us. behind him and just pull no a one's pipe out of the wall anybody in this and house. hit you in the okay. head with it. Look, Bobby, listen, Kalila, I think that's wonderful. I think that's what a podcast is about. We are in the age of content. We've had, I don't mind saying, a pretty funny conversation thus far. Oh, oh I know it's not over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think your audience is going to like it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of irreverent people talking in a room of their house in the podcasting landscape. Right. But this conversation has been pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's what podcasts should be. And at 10 Minute Podcast, we've completely betrayed that. First of all, it's only 10 minutes to begin with. Mm. So that's dumb. And then, uh, and now we're just giving it away. But. Yes. Like a like, like a like a like a mystique painted orca, <laughs> breaching yeah. itself. 
Yeah. In the in the waters of South Africa. Yeah. Can anybody name the songs from that band that I named earlier? Any of the uh, yeah titles? Ocean Holes. Of Ocean course. Holes is one. Donut. Ocean Holes is one. Uh, Donut Dan. What was it? Donut Dan. <laughs> yeah. The uh, Tala- t- Tallahassee, Tallahassee Nuts. Tallahassee Nuts. Tallahassee Nuts was a favorite. Tallahassee Nuts. What was the Sky was one? one? It was another it's one. Sky Fever. Sky, sky Fever. Wasn't, Something wasn't Mineral. It? Yeah. Was sky it? Fever. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Mine Mineral. Mine Mineral. Mine Mineral. Mineral. Ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah. Uh what do you think I should do? Do you think because here's what we decided. Yeah. We're gonna stop doing the podcast mm. and then maybe in a year we'll come out with a new podcast. I, I, I honestly believe this. I honestly believe this. I believe that you should always ha- be on a podcast. <laughs> I believe that Will Sasso, because you have mm-hmm. the equipment, right? Yeah, I have the other I'll, I'll be honest with you too, is, is that your podcast is one of the reasons why I have this podcast. Everything influences me, right? So the DVD essay influenced me a lot, but also right around the, that time, I remember going to your house with Cal and Andalia there, yeah, and doing being a mm-hmm. guest on your ten minute podcast. It was fun, and it was super fun, and it gave me what plant it planted a seed. Yeah, and so you're so funny. Oh, thanks. And your characters are so good. I think there is, it would be criminal for you not to be on that format. I don't think that. I think I honestly feel like there's a huge glut of them on the internet, and I think you, I, I think that they're, I think that it's really hard to strike. I think it's really hard to no. hit pay dirt. No, no, no. I should just be. I mean, listen, blowing listen, characters listen. Into a we're not listen, at the bottom we, of my house all the time. You know, we make this right. We have yeah sponsors, it, right? Yeah, we have sponsors. It also mine are gone. <laughs> We're making I, less than I, I, zero dollars. So what does Mark Evans inherit? He gets the iTunes channel, so immediately everyone that is subscribed to the Ten Minute Podcast is subscribed to the Mark Evans <laughs> Ten Minute Podcast. He's he's a very uh, handy guy with all of his uh, Photoshop and editing and After Effects. But I've decided I'm going to design a, an avatar for for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll hang on to it for a little while. I don't know. He gets uh, to keep the name. He keeps the name. Yeah. He keeps the. Uh, he has the website, the domain. He gets the Twitter, the stupid Facebook, all the things that nobody gives a shit about. He will get those. Uh, and uh, I and yeah, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I got a really nice message from someone today. I'm gonna get real. How about this, Bobby? I'm listening to you. Okay. <laughs> That's why I close my eyes. I'm listening. Go ahead. I got a very nice message today on Instagram uh, Messenger, right, mm-hmm. from a young man who said he'd been living, uh, listening to the show. From the age of 13, now he's 19 years old. And he said, uh, it's really shaped my sense of humor, blah, blah, blah. He said a lot of really nice things. And he was really, I, I wrote him back. You know, you try to write Aww. these people back when they say something, when they just, you know, when they share that, hey, you've done this thing and I, I've listened to it and here's how it's affected me. I think a small percentage of people are obviously reaching out. So it's important to go to, you know, thank the guy for doing that, for sharing and for reaching out. And he was very well spoken, and he said he said nice things, and I don't want to, you know. But I told you I was getting serious. And he goes, uh, I think you can probably pick up listening to the show. All right, here's the truth. I feel like I have no idea what my. I feel like I have no idea, and maybe we've sort of talked about this because I don't do stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How I don't ever get to the point. No, um, I feel like I have no idea what the value is out there for some of the dumb things that I do. Cause mm. this guy mm. was definitely, is definitely picking up on the, on the podcast that I'm very, you know, I'm playing around, but I'm definitely like, ah, fuck it. You know, whatever. Here goes the podcast. It's gone. And here's a dumb wrestling joke and blah, blah, blah. And the diamonding this and that, and we want less <laughs> listeners and all this shit. <laughs> and those who are left, you guys are our diamonds. You're the ones who get every fucking joke. We value you more as you, as your, you know, compatriots fall off the side. Uh, this guy picked up on that and was like, Hey, you know, this, whatever the nice things he said. And he goes, that's something to be proud of. Will. Yeah. I don't think pride has any, uh, place in comedy or, uh, entertainment. I think it's a, I think it's a poison. Right. Yeah. Don't you think? Uh, I, you, 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 you even saying it, you even saying it, you saying what he just said. Yeah, struck a chord with me just now. Yeah, yeah. I've never really thought of it that way, but you are correct. Pride has no place in it. Don't pretend to cry. I'm not. 
Fuck That's you. That's actually how you sound when you yeah, cry? Yeah, you've seen me cry. You do the broken voice like that? <laughs> yeah. Wow, all right. Um, so I Grandpa, do feel Grandpa, like... Grandpa, don't touch me there. So I do <laughs> feel the like... the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Was your grandpa's name Bob? No. Is that why you're only Bob when you're serious? No, I don't know his name. Right. Fuck him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of feel like, oh, yeah, I don't... To take your to take your audience to a new thing, you have to believe that there's an audience that wants your. Th Will I don't know. Sh dude. Shut the fuck up! The I'm fuck telling I'm you doing. right now. All right. All right, I'll make I, another. You know, just shut the fuck up for a second. You okay? got it. You're a guy who is a comedy entity out there, right? Sure. He was on a sketch show for years. You were the star, one of the stars of Mad TV during its prime. Yeah. All right. Now don't you, forget that was 35 years ago. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. It wasn't 35 right? years ago, you dick. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, you. go on. Please I'm trying to give you saying. a fucking compliment, and you're playing fucking. Are mind you on your shirt? Since the show started, you're you making keep me sweat. more and more naked. You're making me sweat. I told you cheeks. it was warm in here. There's six people in this fucking room. <laughs> All right, blue eye. All right, so Wait, what? what? <laughs> you have one blue eye. I have one blue eye. Oh, right. uh, what I'm just saying is, is yeah, that yeah, yeah. you know, I'm dumb. Nope. I'm slept. Just listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm dumb. I'm slept. I don't know nothing, right? Um, nosotros papaya to you and everyone you know. Mm -hmm. And the vibe is this, is, is that you think that I think that people should listen to me? I don't think so. But you know what? I resonate with people. It's, yeah, you it's do. A mir Let me talk done. <laughs> it's a fucking miracle. But I go on. Sorry. <laughs> Why do you do that? I'm listening. I'm just that, I know. But can I just say what I want to say? I want and you then... to say nice things about yourself. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> you can win. Uh, uh, you right. can win an Academy. Uh, all right. Let me. Let me. Everyone is very. Let me very respin. Happy let me respin. For, yeah, you're very happy. For I am. Jordan. I am not the most educated person, but I try. And I'm not dumb. I'm not retarded, but I'm not smart. Is that better? I'm not saying anything. Okay. But I go on the road. I read emails. I read little comments about myself. I, I get, we get p artists like this artist. Yeah, right I was here. just noticing this artist. We just got this today. Very lovely. And an artist, you know, what's his Alberto name? Reyes. Alberto Reyes. Alberto Reyes created these two. Yeah. Right of me and Kalila. Incredible. And you know he they write letters saying that I help them and yeah. that I'm motivating it's and nice. I'm uh and I don't know why, so I just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there is a reason why I should be doing this podcast. Yes. I don't know what the end game is. I don't know what the end result is going to be. That's the good And I'm shit. not doing it for money. I'm doing it for yeah. just, it. you know, in many ways, it reinvented myself. Really? How? I think that, you know, if if you were to read a book about Bobby Lee... You know, there would be a chapter on Kalila, the you know, when I met Kalila. Yeah. And what a big influence she is in my life. And this podcast has everything to do with her, but it also has everything to do with the revival of my career. How I wasn't you... working at all. Really? Yeah, until we started doing this. Mm. And I got a bunch of shit because of this. And I got... Because of this? I, it... It doubled my road audience. Okay. It made me money. Yeah. It it did a lot of things. Yeah. And um, I'm not gonna downplay my fans out there that listen to Tiger Belly. Very they good. they are my foundation. No sotras papaya to you mm -hmm. and to your family. Mm -hmm. And that uh, means I have four papayas. No, no sotras papayas <laughs> means we are papaya. No, it doesn't. It, it means doesn't? we papaya. We papaya. It's, we papaya. It's broken. Sorry. It's even yeah, broken. We papaya. <laughs> Sorry. We papaya. Yeah, it's we, not we are. I've never okay. been to South Asia. South. I've never been to the Asias. It's not. <laughs> it's Hispanic in origin. Well. Yeah, but so are. But like Filipino. Yeah, we're Mexican. Yeah, you're Mexican. Yeah, we're Mexican. <laughs> you're Mexican. Okay. But I think that by you doing a podcast is important because there are people out there that you might not necessarily know. Right. That, that relate to you. I don't know any of my audience. Will you meet them ever? Oh, yeah, I meet them sometimes years ago when we used to do live shows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now they're on the internet. But when I do stand-up, they come to my shows. That's amazing. Thank you. Well, I don't do stand-up, though. You could. <sighs> Remember you when know, I did that bit? 
here's the thing about you, and I'm going to say something real about you, and I'm going to say something that you're not going to like, mm-hmm. and it might cause a fight. Okay. But I'm going to say it anyway because I love it's you. It's your room. Okay. Is I don't want to that break any of this shit. <laughs> you are missing, right, hundreds of thousands of dollars by not doing stand up. You, it is an ability. <laughs> okay, it is an ability that you have. I've seen you go up live. You opened for me at Irvine. Remember that one time as a character? Oh, David Greco opened for you. I saw that. I understand that, funny. but if Will Sasso did it, yeah. you could make so much money. I've told you why I don't like stand up. For me, Rosenbaum I, does it. Who? Michael Rosenbaum. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Lex Luthor on the Small Bill. You don't know Michael? Oh, yeah. He's a friend of yours. Yeah. Yeah, I know who he is. But uh, you, you never I, met I know him? The actor. Oh, he should know. Is he those Canadian? Two, those two should know each is he other. Canadian? He acts Canadian. Yeah, I think he is Canadian. He acts I think he's Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, I know exactly who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but you two together would There's be fucking There's a bunch of Rose, Michael Rosenbaums out there. I thought you were talking... I don't know who you're talking about. Some, But uh, yeah, I know who that Michael yeah, but Rosenbaum I, it, it, is. It, it, it's a fucking... It's a chunk of money that you're missing. It's a, it's yeah. a part of... I know, but you don't have to do it. That's fine. You're never no, going to no, do no, it. No, 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 no. Do you don't. know why you're not going to do it? Because oh, just... you're fucking weak. Yeah, And okay. you're fucking... You live in yeah. fear and you're a fucking pussy. Oh, no. I'm going to do it now. So I'll tell you what. Why are you smiling at the camera? Why are you smiling at <laughs> What camera? Just look at the mirror. Is that even a camera? Just yeah. Smiling? He's doing it to the camera. That's the real Tiger Belly. There's a, like a fucking show he's doing to a hole in the wall like Andy Kaufman is a 10-year-old. He's like looking around like there's an audience full of people here. Oh, he's fucking hallucinating. What's happening? He's so happy with himself. And he's, he look at, he's getting it from the audience there in the mirror. Go. Here's the thing. I have great respect for stand-up. I love stand-up. I've always, you know, we had all the albums when I was growing up. I had an older brother and sister, so my tastes were sort of, you know, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, helped along by them. Uh, you know, we had the Carlin and all the shit. And uh, Guild Alive, that was a good one. Great had one. Had that on, uh, on 8-Track. Um, and Steve Martin, of course. So, uh, anyway, anyway. So, here's my thing. I don't, you know me, I don't really like to go up in front of people and talk and give my opinion. It's not interesting to me. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think that's oversaturated. I think that your uh, profession as a comedian is under siege by dickheads with inflated egos who think just holding a microphone and flapping their fucking gums into it is something and it's not. Uh, and I feel like artistically I want to, and I strive to, even though, you know, we all try to make things and they don't always work out or whatever, but I'm always working on something that no one's ever going to see. And it's been that way for a long time. I don't know that just getting up in front of people and going, you know, I don't know. I don't want to, I'm not trying to shit on stand up uh, at all. I love stand up. I love funny stand. I, I watch a lot of, uh, who's the guy? I watch that guy, uh, uh, Dave Chappelle. Oh, yeah. Oh. And uh, I also watch the, the black guy. Chappelle. Chappelle yeah. again. Yeah, I saw his stuff. <laughs> both, <laughs> you you <laughs> listen to both Chappelle. Is that the same guy? Yeah, no, two different guys. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've seen his, I've seen their, their you, Netflix. Dave no. Chappelle and Ronaldo Chappelle. Ronaldo yeah, Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronaldo Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wouldn't that be funny if Dave Chappelle had like a, another Chappelle, like Chappelle, like Gallagher too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, so anyway, but um, yeah, so thank you for the encouraging words. That wasn't. And I'm not going to say... I wasn't being encouraging. I know. Oh, you're just being real. It's Bobby being real. <laughs> Bobby being Bob. When Kalila doesn't want to do this anymore, that's going to be the name of your podcast, Bobby being Bob. <laughs> and you're not going to go for jokes. It's just going to be serious as shit. And you're going to have a bunch of like, you know, Dr. Drew like guests. And, stuff. <laughs> uh, and you're just going to talk seriously. But no, I, I would love to do... You know, I was having this... Con- well, okay. I've had this conversation before with other people who I respect comedically like yourself who have thank taken you. the time to say... Did you say, did you say fuck you or thank you? I said you? Thank, thank you. you. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and who have said, oh, Will, you should be doing some more live shit. I totally want to. I just don't know what that is. Okay. Because I don't want to... Bobby, I'm telling you... No, 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 no. I don't know what... Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Don't shut me down and go, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. Because that's you being fearful. 
You don't want to hear the end of what I'm saying. Oh fuck! Oh. This guy wants to. This guy wants to get confrontational. Yeah, I'll get confrontational. You want to get confrontational? You want to get real? I don't give a fuck. You want to get real? I'll pay myself like a fucking orca and swim into shark infested water. I'll go water. mystique. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'll go mystique for You're you. You're not going mystique. Right? You're gonna be a jellyfish. Go inside the ocean hole. You're gonna get so transparent. Right? People can see. <laughs> right? Yes. Ocean holes. Oh, that's a great song. Ocean great holes. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. I, yeah, I'll do. I, I want to do more live shit. Good. I'm honestly. I. I I have been very fortunate enough to be busy and out of town you work all and the time. shooting a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and I'm what are you working on now that's all, that people can watch? I'm the new Batman. <laughs> <laughs> You're the new Batman? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, what I got? I got a couple films coming out. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What are they? Well, the, the Burning Woman is one. Uh, there's a, oh, I'm in Super Troopers 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's With coming out. Myself, Tyler Labine, and Hayes McCarthy. You know Hayes. I love you know Tyler. Tyler. Oh, oh you guys love, work together on yeah, Animal Hospital. Yeah, I love. Me, Tyler, and Hayes. I love those guys. Yeah. Hayes who? Hayes, Hayes McCarthy. Oh, I love all three Hayes. of you. The three of us are uh, are evil Mounties. We're the bad guys. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Uh, and uh, and Rob Lowe is the mayor of a fictitious Canadian oh, wow. town. Oh, wow. Did very, you work with Rob? Yeah, yeah. We nice? Rob. Very nice guy. Very handsome, nice guy. huh? Yeah, handsome as fuck. Yeah, yeah. 64 years old. I can't mean, fucking believe it. He, sl- he must sleep in a hyperbaric chamber. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I got a couple of, you know, filmy films uh, coming out. We're doing another season of the show I did last year called Louder Milk, which is Ron Livingston and myself. Oh, that was good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm doing this and that and that and this, and I'm ended up on things, and I'm going off to shoot a film uh, in a, uh, about a month here. Um, that we're shooting in Georgia, and and yeah, but I would love to do. Forget it. I, I love. Stop it! That's what you. Forget that's what it. he does. Yeah. Forget it. He fucking it. gets me all invested Forget in the fucking. What do we have time wise? Oh, what do we have time wise? I don't oh, like his energy. Shit. What is the time now? I can't Over even an wrap hour. this up. Over an hour. Oh, we're yeah. done. Yeah. Hey, no, hey, here's thanks a, for listening. Here, hey, hey, time. Hey, hey, Dollar th- Shave Club. Hey. Dollar oh, Shave Club. Go to do this. Hey, get who's that? Me undies. Hey, I'm going to be in Branson. <laughs> Branson. The way we end our show is. <laughs> You're not ending your fucking show yet. Hey. hey I'm what? the captain of this ship. Oh, friend. yeah? You guys yeah. have a chance? Okay. I love you so much. Well, I love you too. It's, 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 I'm it's, a it's, polite it's, it's, Canadian it's really, pirate. It's, it's really. <laughs> I'm boarding your ship. <laughs> With my little sticker whale puffer fish in my where my oh, thing was. Oh, I would was. love to see and you. And you're as a like, Canadian oh, that pilot. looks like a oh, tasty fish. Tasty, tasty fish. Oh, and you want to call you. You. The Japanese love. Yeah. Tasty fish. Tasty fish. Fucking cock racist. <laughs> fuck Canadian. Fuck. We're not racist. We, do a we fucking, can't be racist. We do a in fucking uh, thing called. Um, Unhelpful advice and well, email. Nobody people gives ask. a shit in your audience to hear <laughs> yeah, what I'm do doing any, live anyway, we do right? It anyway. Oh well, you know so what, Bobby? Read the email. I'm just gonna fuck. Hold on, Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you something. Yeah. And you're gonna listen because right. I was nice to you uh, at right, Mad go, TV. Go ahead, tell me. Oh, I was nice to I, you. Uh, tell me, yes. tell me, tell and, me. And all those people that didn't even bother to hang out with you, <laughs> and I hung out with you, right? Remember that one time we went down to Long Beach because a buddy of mine wanted to meet a girl. Oh yeah. Oh, that was. I remember that. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. We were good buddies to him too. We, we just went down to Long Beach. Did you support him? Because he wanted to see about a girl. What was the black guy that used to hang out with bell bottoms all the time? Wasn't yeah, yeah, right? Sean. Sean, I oh, like him. Man, yeah. yeah, he was cool. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it was a different time than I. And then we, you, you, one time you reminded me to do a Halo tournament at your house. Yeah, you weren't oh. into that. I wasn't into that. At all. Did you play Halo? No, he wasn't in his forties yet. Wasn't playing video games. <laughs> Halo. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Good night, everybody. Thanks for listening to Tiger Belly. I'm Will Sasso. We'll see you next Are time. Are you seeing anybody right now? I, um. <laughs> I, well, you, I wasn't going to ask you. You know what? Yeah. I can, I can say this because she's never going to listen. But no, I, I went on three dates with a nice young lady. Oh. 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 How'd you meet her? Life. Man, man. Met her. No, she's person. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing with Will. <laughs> she doesn't nice like. Person. He doesn't like talking. I don't know about, what's gonna happen. He doesn't like talking about his private life. And as, and I, I think that's really fair. Oh well, yeah, you, you that think that's fair? Life? Oh, because you guys were on this thing together. That's very no, easy Will, for you to talk let about. Let me tell your you something life. about Bobby. When we first got together, he went on a ton of podcasts, talk about how I aborted his baby, <laughs> talked about what my vagina looked like. <laughs> I mean, and he put it out. I'm. We broke up probably three times when we first started dating because he couldn't shut his fucking mouth about me. Yeah. So I think what you're doing is nice. Well, I've always been very private like that. 
I like that. Bobby's asleep. Uh, No, I think that's a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't tell anybody anything at all. I don't give a fuck. But uh, here, you met, a nice, you, you, you met a nice lady. You met three dates, mm-hmm. right? That's it. And, that's and you all. like her a lot. That's all you have to fucking say. You fucking asshole. I didn't even say I liked her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you like you you like She's her. A wonderful person. All right, that's it. She's a very give me the lo- fucking email. Very lovely person. Give me the fucking email. Can't wait for her and everybody Do else the email. to watch me live stand live stand up comedy. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna try out some shit here before we go. <laughs> Hey, you know this Donald Trump wants to uh, wants to put up a wall and keep the Mexicans out. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Hey, who's gonna build that wall? <laughs> <Who? laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was real good. Real good. Pretty good. And I've heard that joke before. I know. Yeah. I watched a thing on uh, YouTube about Carlos Mencia. I know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Joe Rogan said that. Uh, I know. Ari Shafir, right? It was his joke. Right. This, that, that, but they're kind of everybody's jokes. These jokes. Some of them are, yeah. Because, you know, you can go up and stand up and say, hey, what's going on? Hey, that, uh, Donald, I'll tell you what, that Donald Trump, that guy wants to, that guy wants to uh, take all the dreamers and, uh, and, uh, uh, and get rid of, send them back to the uh, countries they're from. Even not, I'll tell you, tell you something else. <laughs> well, maybe he should have a dream about getting, <laughs> sending his hair <laughs> that's good. to another. Uh, Real good. Maybe and that's go and that's maybe you shouldn't. That's my. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> don't, dude. Can don't, because we came all this it. way. Don't have it. We came all this. Oh. Can I say something? Really? I don't have it. What is this? Fucking last man. No, you standing? can't do it. You can't do it. Last comic. Uh... No, you don't have the mind or the bravery. Ooh. Go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Bobby Kalana and Will. Second Sasso. city, right there, friend. Wow. Hi, Bobby. You sound like that homeless guy with the really good voice. Oh, the man with the that's a meme mm. from seven years ago. Yep. <laughs> Hi, later. hi, Bobby Kalila. My boyfriend and I just broke up after two years. He was bipolar and refused to take medication. The relationship became mentally abusive. I don't have any self-esteem anymore. Your podcast is the only thing that keeps me smiling. I've listened to every episode. So we were supposed to move to L.A. together in September. He wanted to pursue a career in music, and I wanted to pursue fashion and event planning, but that's what I went to school for and love. He has an internship in a music production set up because of my connections out there. Should I tell my close friend he is going to intern uh, for about our breakup and our relationship was really like? I think she's trying to say. What? Should I tell my close friend he's about okay, to? Okay, so she yeah. set up the internship, internship for him. Yeah. So she's asking if she should tell the people at the internship about his getting off his medication and basically sabotaging his move to LA. Yes. Well, I mean, it's a little more. Yeah. yeah. He's the only person I really know out there. I don't know who else I could live with. I don't know if I could afford to live alone. I just feel like it's really complicated now and I feel discouraged and about trying to pursue my own dreams. She dodged a bullet Mm -hmm. and her, the reason that she's upset is because she's connecting all of the, all of her hopes, wants and dreams to this fucking guy. And he's a zoo. You do not want to move to L.A. with a bipolar dude who's a musician. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Like you couldn't write that any, yeah. any funnier. That's right. like, no, that's a the disaster. That's a nightmare. Nightmare. Really and happened. as far as telling them about uh, telling the people at the internship, whether or not I would say no, because just just disassociate with that. I, guy. And not only that, I would be like, called and get not have him get the internship. No, I wouldn't even go that far. Mm. I, I, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Just let, let me hear my thought, though. All right. Well, you didn't hear mine about stand up. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, because this is not. What the do ten- I have to write this in? This is not the 10 minute podcast. Ask about it. All right. There That's is no dead. 10 minute podcast. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to. Well, I, I, if. Uh, listen, look, at, if I was dating. Not you, but let's say I was dating. Girl, let's make up a name Sabrina. Mm-hmm. Classic. Good Sabrina. Name. Good girlfriend, that movie. name. Volk- Good girlfriend. Volkovich. Ooh, Ooh, European. Yeah, Sabrina yeah. Volkovich. Right? That's the name of the girl I'm hanging with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you knew that I made that up, right? Yeah, I did know. No, I didn't. <laughs> wow. So read it. Will's getting pussy. <laughs> no, I don't get pussy. Right. I'm you receive be, it. No, I do not receive it. I'm 43 years old. I tell every woman before I hang out with them that my dick doesn't work. As a matter of fact, <laughs> this is this is damn true. I don't even I don't kiss on the first date. A lot of times not even the second or third date. <sighs> God. I just want to get to know somebody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I don't have kids. You do? If I, I think wrote, you'd be a great dad. If I yeah. wrote you here Please do. and said, I'm just going to run off to Canada, build a log cabin, yeah, you know, work, like make candles or something, 
and just have like seven kids like find a you know i don't believe in uh big age gap relationships yeah but I, i'm like i'm 43 right so i gotta get so i gotta get like a 21 year old girl <laughs> and just just someone i know can what am i just barren like in my machine, 30s like a machine no i'm but i'm talking about i want I you, want, want fre- you want a fresh product i want 11 kids yeah yeah, yeah. i want yeah uh would you support that now keep in mind there's not gonna be a whole there's gonna be even less time for stand-up uh, <laughs> i could do the I, comedy. I, I, if you called me and you said that i would probably go no that's no? a mistake get back here not, not not only that it's just that i i mean and you can i've argued with people about this before your dream is your dream dude mm-hmm. yeah but and, you know what and and when you're our age you're driving it doesn't end it doesn't end no no it doesn't have to end it's but. not it, it, it you know what Can I be, i'm doing better now than i've ever have sure and if yeah, i want to quit true. If I would have quit three years well, ago, talking a about family quitting. in Canada in a fucking ranch, yeah, making candles. That sounds awesome. That sounds like Go an on. amazing life. I tell you what, a couple it, of my it, buddies it, no, have stop, moved stop, stop, back stop. to our hometown where yeah, we're from. Yeah. Uh, about a couple months ago, I was visiting one of the guys. <laughs> I see him all the time. I tell you, they're a hoot. And uh, <laughs> well, I'm, so dri- I'm driving down the street to my buddy's place. Yeah. It's like 9 p.m. We're in the you know western Canadian suburbs there outside of Vancouver. Yeah. And um, in my hometown. And there's like a couple of little dudes, like 10 years old, riding their BMX bikes. The midgets? No, no lights. No, little dudes like kids. Oh. Uh, they're riding their bikes <laughs> like they, they don't have any don't lights. Know. They little just dude? have reflectors. Yeah. Less shit on their bikes than the Stranger Things kids. Right. And they're just riding their bikes down the street uh-huh. at 9 o'clock. Yeah. There's no rapists or killers or pedophiles in Canada. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Don't you want to raise your kids there and, and make, then, make some candles? But yeah, I see the full soy story. Soy candles. 30 years later, right? What are they doing? Making soy candles. No, hey, no, no, their kids are riding. Their their fucking bicycles turned into motorbikes. Yeah, and they're now in their fucking. Um, they're in the Hell's gag. Angels and yeah, shit. Hell's Angels. Okay, all right. And they're doing math. All right, I'm sorry okay. to interrupt. Yeah, you. anyway, makes sense. this this lady. Um, what my point was is that you know if I was going going out with a woman by the name of Sabrina Volkovich. Volkovich, yeah, <laughs> right. Classic. Thank yeah. you. And she um, was bipolar, and we broke up. Mm-hmm. And I got her inter job, internship sh- job somewhere of a different city, a comedy store. In my head, yeah, comedy store. In my head, it was like this bitch is fucking bipolar. She could snap, right? Shoot up fucking the place, and that's not going to be good. Mm. Or it's also going to reflect poorly on you. Yeah, it will reflect yeah. Poor, poorly on me. Yeah. So um, pull it, pull it, mm. and just what a great podcast. You only take one question. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, you talked hey, all about connecting you, to everybody, and now you're like you, one lucky listener. <laughs> one lucky listener. We're gonna fix your life. Bipolar. Bipolar I musicians asked, are not. I asked fuck you with. to do this podcast. A bunch I appreciate of times, it. And um, you know what? After a while, I was like, you know what? We don't need them. But <laughs> now that you've been on it, we missed you. I'm recording you on Instagram. We mi- we missed. <laughs> The magic of Will Sasso on this yep. podcast, and um, I wish to God that you would do it again. I'll do your podcast again, Bobby and Kalila. Yeah, yeah, you were so good. Thanks, man. And we didn't really dive into a lot. <laughs> no, you got good and personal. No, we're gonna get more, <laughs> more personal next time. We'll work into it. All right, <laughs> but um, that you you were really amazing um thanks and for, thank you so much for doing thanks it. for having me i I'll, love you like your family i love I've you like your that. family and I'll, I'll do it anytime okay. i live just up the street i'm in las Feliz. i know i've been to your house oh yeah, yeah you live, you in, live a castle. in a castle it's uh oh you know <laughs> i ran to matt bronger a while back i love him well i love matt you know we hang out and stuff but before he i didn't know he was living in my neighborhood he's not now but he <laughs> Ah, this is a dumb story. You know what? I'll tell you off the air. And your <laughs> listeners can be a little upset. Well, no, nah, it just kind of makes... He just... My How house, about that? Why don't you do this? He, you tell the... St- everyone knows it's a dumb story. Yeah, all right. I'll tell the story. It's cap it off, but let me say something right now. It's going to reflect on you and your abilities, but I want you to do it anyway. Tell the story. <laughs> no, you have to end up with the story. All right. So anyway, so my... Anyway, so I run into Matt around the corner from my house, and uh-huh. he goes... Uh, yeah, I go, what do you do? You live here? He goes, yeah, I live over there. Where do you live? I go, yeah, I'm up here around the corner. He goes, which, where, around that corner? Go, yeah. He goes, what are you? I go, yeah, I'm like a couple of houses up on the mm. thing. And he goes, he goes, oh, are you near Castle Wolfenstein? And I said, what? And he goes, there's a house up there that looks, he goes, me and my gal call it Castle Wolfenstein. Yeah. Because it looks like there's a guy up there just breeding wolves. And- <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Like, he just, and I go, I think I'm Dr. Wolfenstein. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, what? I go, that's yeah, I think that's, that's my house you're describing. Yeah. He goes, no, no, it's fucking thing. It looks like Gargamel's fucking yeah. castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Smurfs. And then he came over and he was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, you live there. Master Wolfenstein. It's a great, you know what I love about your house though? You can't go to Redfin and find a house like that. Oh, that's yeah. like there's a it's a one of a kind house. I, well, well, how the fuck did you find that castle? Insane. Because it was 2002. Well, I, they made castles <laughs> since fucking the 1700s. What are you fucking talking about? I know my house was built in 1612. It was the oh, earliest God. property no, what, in Los Angeles. How did you find it though? You just drove by and go, I want to live there. No, I went to a different place. Uh, no, I, yeah, I actually, I, I jumped out of a, uh, I, I bought a house up the Hollywood Hills because I didn't know where the fuck to live when I decided to buy a house. And uh, they said, and then I had to jump out during escrow because there were some uh, structural things. I started a new search. I was in Los Feliz. I was at this one house. They said, have you been by this house? No, no, no. And they told me where. And I said, no. And I walked in there and uh, uh, some, some things happened uh, that were nice. Like they dropped the price a lot the morning that I walked walked in because it was very it was very ugly there had been um, there had been many years of of um, of you know renovations and stuff that reflected the time period when it was renovated right so I I you know I, I restored it with a contractor and designer back to the original the original thing that it was back you know the house was built in the 1930s and and so that was the thing but it was also because the market in 2002 was very different than it was even the next year in 2003. Yeah. And so everything exploded and then we had the, you know, the economic collapse of, you know, 0708. So then you couldn't really get into the, these anyway. It was very It's a great house. I was very, you, fortunate I, 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 very fortunate and very you know, I regret even asking you about that. <laughs> That's not a really good way to You know what, Bob? I'm going to tell yeah, you yeah, something, yeah. you know. <laughs> I'm going to tell the, you the something. The Bronger show was okay, we should end it there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Because just like you said you did some 10 minute podcasts and uh, it inspired you to move forward. Yeah, Perhaps yeah. it even had anyway, a hand. Anyway, thanks, Will Sasso, for coming show. by. Give I'll tell you right something. Everyone clap right now. They're not. Will Sasso, for coming by. They're not all. Cut it off. They're not all home runs. Cut it off. Eddie sometimes shows? people uh, just uh, want to. What? Eddie shows, Bobby? Oh, yeah, I'm at the Ontario sometimes Improv. Sometimes people just want to know about. I'm at the Ontario Improv this weekend. They want to hear about Come renovating the home. I'm also playing. They want to hear about Addison Improv. When did you get when you get those pavers in? Right. And I want to. Oh, I understand. Thank Brian Ortega for killing it. You know someone who does. You watch MMA? You know someone who yeah, does yeah, uh, brickwork? Masonry? He, he <laughs> fucking, he bit, he Because it'll improve the... Frankie Edgar. It'll first really guy bring up the resale value of your house. Yeah, yeah. It's never so, a bad does idea does to put Max in another Holloway? bathroom. Does he beat Max Holloway? Never a bad idea. I don't know that. I think that's hey, you got a good, the crew there already. Fight. You might as well have them come in. That would be a really good you fight. You know what I mean? I've got Peg and Groove Hardwood that's been sanded once. It was centered underneath marble, everybody. That was a great Hey, take a claw hammer. Take it to some of your uh, cut it off right now. Some of your, some okay, of your floors. You, you cut it off. I'm might find some very expensive yeah. wood under there. <laughs> on Instagram at Tiger Belly. Amazing Woods. On Twitter at the Tiger Belly. Fine wood. And, or you can email us any questions at the Tiger Belly. Anything Gmail. that you think that someone would take out and put in another house, that's what you're looking for in your property. <laughs> Don't be afraid to spend the money you're living in your investment. And make sure you check out our sponsor, Brooklyn, and <laughs> promo code Belly. Brooklyn's hard to find a place oh, on your own. Oh, sorry, not, not Brooklyn. But also Brooklyn and buy some stuff there. <laughs> They're both their sponsors. They're both sponsors, but oh, do Brooklyn. Brooklyn uh, yeah. It's good to have good linens. And then get a couple and get a get a little cover for the duvet too. Just in case things get saucy with your with your lady. <laughs> what about Blue Apron? Uh, uh, Blue Apron. Hey, let me tell you something about Blue Apron. Awesome. In Los Angeles, people don't necessarily want to cook all the time, you know? They want to go out and eat in restaurants. Yep. And uh, studies have shown that it's really great when you get together with family and you cook and you have a great time. Hey, Blue Apron's got all those ingredients all put together. <laughs> Even if you've got a new kitchen island you want to put in your kitchen because you think it'll improve the resale value of your home, it doesn't matter if you're living in an apartment or in a studio. Have your kids over because you're divorced and uh, <laughs> cook blue apron with them hey this month they got, <laughs> tilapia. They got tilapia chimichangas <laughs> with uh with chimichurri sauce hey i would never th thought to get this uh. stuff there's five little squash oh halves God. hey what right we're doing the ads for you promo code belly we'll be right uh, back guys we'll be right back guys with some house cleaning Have you and tell you about what's going on in my backyard. How amazing are my triceps? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, we're back, and Kalala was just showing us her triceps for the There's past only, 20 minutes. Can I just say something? It doesn't matter. My body could just f go downhill from here, just absolutely turn into mush. 
there's one thing that's always overgrown in my body and that's my triceps yeah is that because of swimming or no, genetics from your mother i think mother? it's just genetics from somebody in my family who has big Her, triceps your mom probably sure. my mom yeah. yeah it's weird it's like i could do nothing and they just they're there yeah i don't do anything and they look skinny <laughs> So yeah, that's that, Kalila. We get it. You have huge muscles. No, no, not Jesus. Not, huge tries. Not not muscles, just triceps. Yeah, but isn't that a muscle? Yeah, group? but it's one muscle. Like my quads aren't good. My ass isn't good. My stomach's not Fine, good. Kyle, you got a huge muscle. My traps are not good. My delts aren't good. But my triceps are pretty on point. But that try though. <laughs> Um, guys, thank you for leaving us reviews on iTunes. Uh, we appreciate it. And we're going to do a couple more shout outs today. Uh, George, you got you got one? Um, I got a shout out to uh, Megan Cooper, Ooh. who says, Vive no, los nosotros papaya revolution. And a lot of other nice things, but that's uh, the most important. Uh, this one is great. This is from Ole TK, and it's five stars. He said, best show. My nine-year-old daughter told me about this show a while back, <laughs> and I've been hooked ever since. Thanks. Kalila, why are you trying to reach out to nine-year-olds? I'm guessing we got that nine-year-old from JK News. Um, I, I probably would, should be listening to the show. I, yeah, you should probably not allow your child to listen, but also thank you. I thank. Shout out to the nine-year-old well, that told Every her child father. who's listening, tell your parents, tell your older siblings. Let's uh, keep yes. the... Oh, I wanted, revolution going. I wanted to uh, announce some of Bobby's dates. Um, Bobby will be in, at the Ontario Improv this weekend. That's the 9th through the 11th. And then next weekend, he'll be in El Paso, Texas. And then the weekend after that, he I think he's... Um, well, go to BobbyLeeLive.com. <laughs> go to the website. Yeah, go to BobbyLeeLive.com, and I'm going to post um, newer dates because I think in April, mid-April, he's also going to be at the Denver Comedy Works. Mm. And he, He's busy. Yeah, um, he has a couple of road dates coming up. I also wanted to ask uh, the audience a really important question. So over the last six months, I've been getting uh, more frequent jaw pain, and... Um, I never used to think I had TMJ problems. You know, TMJ, like you, the clicking in your, um, this temporal, you know. Can you ex elaborate on like why that happens? I don't, I, oh, okay. I, over, I don't know, people, usually people who grind their teeth, this happens to. Mm. I don't grind my teeth, but I clench down when I'm anxious. Mm. So like even during this podcast, like I, I'm trying to make a conscious effort not to clench my teeth, but the pain has gotten so bad to where I'm starting to slur my words. Oh jeez. Um, because I don't want to open my mouth too big when I talk, and um, any of you guys who have any solutions for TMJ, please let me know. I'm so desperate. Oh, messenger, mm. please. Yeah, let me know like what has worked for you. I'm I'm gonna go see an ac acupuncturist. I'm gonna go see my dentist. But this pain in my face is so awful. So if you have any any experiences, <laughs> help me out. That's un that's yeah. Give her some unhelpful advice. No, just give her helpful advice. Yeah, just give me helpful advice on how to reduce my face pain and my jaw pain and clicking. That's wow. sad. Why are you breaking down? You're so strong, dude. You eat healthy. You work out. Why are you dying? I've sucked too much <laughs> dick in my life. That hey, that will do it. You know, <laughs> too much dick sucking and just destroy your body. I know my 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 one of my best guy friends today. He's like, why do you have to suck so much dick? Dude? You, like I don't know. It was just very the mouth once. Man, if someone wants. has to say that to you, that means you sucked a lot of dick. No, I wouldn't say I sucked more dick than the average girl, but I've sucked you know enough. To know how to suck a good dick. I suck a great dick. Yes, we know that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, okay? And also, now I have TMJ to will, prove it. To also, prove my also, dick sucking prowess. Also a lot of international penis as well. You, you're, a lot you're, of you're everything. You're more traveled than the average American. So. Yeah, and then you know what? Nine-year-old girl or boy, <laughs> God, well, yeah, when you suck a lot of dick like me, you get TMJ. So when don't you're do 33, it. So don't do it. You get jaw problems, so don't suck too much dick. One dick every five years prevent tmj that's yeah. a fact science yeah um any announcements george uh no that's it leave us an itunes review please and we'll be reading uh, all the latest ones on the podcast yeah. or not all the latest ones but we'll be reading a smattering of the latest i ones. like that word a lot smattering a smattering dave Chappelle used it at the oscars oh yeah last night he's like i like the smattering of applause i was like oh, great word he should host any thoughts on the oscars any like thing that stuck out to you kind of like ugh, or like yay 
I thought it was the great Oscars. It was fun. Jimmy Kimmel. Last year, I thought he hosted better. But. I think it was, the, you, know, you have to address the elephant in the room. So I think he did a good job doing that. Enough of um, that, yeah. I just watched, Bobby and I watched The Shape of Water um, yesterday, last mm -hmm. after the Oscars, and we loved it. I watched all those movies. What was your interpretation? Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, what was your interpretation of her getting the gills? Was she already one of, uh, was that, did he give her the gills at the end? Mm -hmm. Or was she already the, the lost girl? that they found and that she was in fact an, uh, a fish I guess an amphibian mm. what was your interpretation or did love create that and he get, he had the power I think that he I'll stick to the the less fun option she and did. he just gave her gills at the end the love gave her gills. I tell Bobby all the time, it's like, that's my dream come true. Turn me into a fish. <laughs> really give do. me gills. And he's like, you would want to live down there? I'm like, yeah, if I can at least visit you guys once a week on the docks, you know, and like my little mermaid <laughs> fins and my gills. And then, you know, and, and he, that's, he... That's so crazy. Like the when you first made that, uh, we have the, 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 the graphic with us and you and the mermaid fin. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize when you showed me that other picture, that's something you've been drawing. Since I was six years old. I thought that was like a recent thing. Like, oh, I'm a swimmer, so I'll put the mermaid thing. That's something no. you've been like wanting to have forever. I, I, I swear to you, like I think from the, my sixth birthday to my 12th birthday, you know, you blow your candle and you mm -hmm. make a wish. It was never anything. There was two things that I always wished for. Make it to the Olympics mm -hmm. and then grow some gills. Wow. Like I wanted to be some fucking ocean dwelling mammal. Hey, don't be down here. I'd miss you guys for sure. <laughs> I'd miss you. Would you come visit me at the docks? I would feed you. Like oh, yeah. krill. Krill? It's good for your skin. Ah, uh, no, I'd want something chunkier like like tuna. <laughs> like dick. <laughs> like I'm ocean looking for, dick. I'm looking for that ocean whale dick. dick. Hey, whale dick is is very, very big. Yeah, we know how big a whale no, is. But, <laughs> yeah. but, I don't think a whale is walking around with a micro penis. But you know how you don't have a bone in your dick? They mm -hmm. actually have like a bone to support their penis. I think I have a bone. I, um, hear, I hear crunchy noises sometimes. My marine biology professor, Dr. Huh. Gago, he Fake collected a... Uh, no, it's not. This is his name. It's Gago. He's, he was so hot. Okay, Professor Gago. Hot Professor Gago. Hot Professor. <laughs> he was one of my favorite professors. But he brought in... Um, he says he... So one of his friends uses it as a party for like the, mm -hmm. the the fruit punch and no one knows it's actually like a whale penis that yeah. they're using but i was very fascinated and it was massive uh, <laughs> her smile right now just take is, me off the is fucking mic. A creepy uh, okay guys that's our show uh, uh some of you have been asking about uh when's the next merch because stuff is sold out there will be some merch happening in the next couple of weeks just be on the lookout on our social media even on kalila's social media which is calamity k on um, Tiger Belly social media, we will be releasing some hints and when that may drop. Uh, right now, if you're on YouTube, I am wearing the uh, hoodie. Uh, it's very oh, soft. Yeah. It's very premium, and we've got a great embroidered uh, Tiger Belly Bobby um, Elmer's glue bottle on there. We'll have a uh, beanie coming out, a T-shirt, and we'll bring back the sticker packs. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, anything else you want to say to the peoples, the Slop Kingdom, Kalila, before you go? Uh, just help me with my lockjaw. Help her with lockjaw. Yeah. George? Uh, thanks again to our sponsors. Uh, so check out uh, bluever.com slash belly. And our other sponsor, uh, brooklyn.com. Also, Promo if you'd like to belly, be... Belly, B-E-L-L-Y, oh, yeah, of sorry. all of them. Sorry. Yes. Also, if you'd like to be a sponsor of our podcast, um, write us at thetigerbelly at gmail.com and um, attention, George. Yes. And maybe sponsor in the email too, but close enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you're like a local yeah. pizza shop or We'd whatever, you know, we're happy to have you. We love you. to sponsor our uh, people who know the show. Right, right. Dope, dope. All right, guys. And, oh, oh uh, t uh, shout out to IG Talking Dot Funny. A lot of funny edits out there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very funny. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a good one. Couple